Hey guys, at long last, I'm finally going to cover some client-side mods that are available for Minecraft 1.16.5 on both Forge and Fabric. These are mods that you can install and run on multiplayer servers without them being a requirement on the server's end. None of these mods will add new items to the game either, and there's no guarantee that you can use them on every server without being banned. Apple Skin adds some new tool tips when hovering over food items. You'll be able to see how much hunger you'll receive, as well as saturation. When holding food in your hand, you'll also be able to see how much saturation, hunger, and health will be restored if you eat that item. The Armor Toughness Bar is a new bar that appears above your hunger bar. It will display the total armor toughness value of the armor you have equipped. Controlling is a must-have, especially when using lots of mods. In your control screen, you'll find a search bar where you can search for a controller name, a key binding, or for a category instead. There's also some new buttons which allow you to see which keys have conflicts and which ones are unbound. Dynamic Surroundings is a beautification mod, adding lots of new features. During the night, some visual changes are made with fireflies being seen, mostly in flower forest biomes. If you head to colder biomes, then you might spot auroras in the sky and you'll blow hot air out of your mouth. The mod also makes some changes to sounds, as there's new footstep sounds for different blocks, and different biomes also have their own ambient effects. You can also install the Sound Filters mod, which makes some changes to sounds. When you're underwater or in caves, you'll hear a lot more reverb and muffling. If the source block of sounds is blocked by a wall, then the volume will also be affected. Crafting Tweaks add some new buttons to the crafting table. The first button will allow you to rotate the crafting grid. The Balance button can be used to make stack sizes the same, or you can hold Shift to evenly balance materials between every slot. The final button will remove all the items from the grid, placing them in your inventory. There's also Inventory Tweaks renewed, which adds a new button to any inventories, which could be your own or any chest. When you press this button, all the items in the inventory will be sorted neatly, with stack sizes replenished and sorted into alphabetical order. Shulker Tooltip can be used to see what you have sorted inside a shulker box without placing it down. All you have to do is hover over it in your inventory to see its contents. I love to use just enough items for forge, or roughly enough items for fabric. When inside your inventory, you can see a complete list of items available on the right-hand side, which includes items from vanilla Minecraft as well as any mods you have installed. When you hover over them and press the R key, you can see their recipe, or you can press the U key instead to see what recipes it's used in. It's a very useful mod overall, as you can search the name of a mod too. You should note that it doesn't include custom items from non-modded servers. There's also Enchantment Descriptions, which has support for the previously mentioned mods. When you hover over an enchantment, a small tooltip will tell you what it does, like how efficiency increases your mining speed. If you're using just enough items, you can also click on an item to see the tooltip in more detail, and click the other tab to see a list of items that the enchantment can be applied to. Autofish will allow you to automatically catch fish as your rod will be reeled out and cast in at the correct times. There's lots of features included, as the mod can also switch to another rod if your rod breaks, making it more of an AFK experience. Automatic tool swapping mods are great too. When you hit a block or entity, the correct tool will automatically be selected, which might save you a bit of time in the long run. I'll leave a link to both a fabric and forge version below. Toro Health Damage Indicators allows you to see how much damage you deal per swing, with an indicator being displayed. The mod also adds a health bar to the corner of your screen when hovering over an entity, where you'll see its name, current health, and total health. In the configuration files, you can also choose to enable whether smaller health bars should be displayed in the world above a creature's head. A personal favorite of mine is Jade, which is available for Forge, but there's also Here's What You're Looking At for Fabric. When you hover over an item, you can see the name of a block, as well as the mod it's from, which is especially useful if you're using lots of mods. 
They can also display other useful information, such as the contents of furnaces, mob effects, and your progress for breaking blocks. Inventory HUD Plus starts by adding a new inventory HUD. It displays all the other items in your inventory that aren't on your hotbar. There's different display modes like horizontal or vertical, and you can also adjust the opacity. With the new Potion HUD, you can see the effects that you currently have active, as well as the time remaining. The final feature is the Armor HUD, which shows all of the items you have equipped, as well as their durability. There's lots of configuration to the mod, with an easy-to-use interface where you can quickly move elements around. Better Foliage is a graphics mod which improves the appearance of vegetation in Minecraft. One of the first changes you'll notice is that leaves are more rounded in appearance and look a lot bushier. Grass blocks should look a lot different too, as small tufts of grass will grow from each one, making your world look a lot more natural overall. There's new reeds growing out of shallow water, and cactus will also be changed slightly. One of my favorite changes is that logs have been slightly rounded too. You can configure each setting, choosing what to enable or disable. Another vegetation theme mod is Falling Leaves, which causes small leaf particles to fall from leaf blocks, which should just look a little prettier. Although the previously mentioned Better Foliage mod also has this feature included. I should also mention Optifine, which also technically counts as a client-side mod. It has lots of useful features, like allowing you to fine-tune your graphic settings or use shaders, which makes your world more beautiful. By pressing the C key, you can also zoom in and see things in the distance more clearly. Voxel Map will display a mini-map on your screen, which will show your surroundings. There's also a built-in compass, which shows each point of a compass, as well as your current coordinates. You can also see a larger map showing where you've discovered so far, and set waypoints so you'll never lose in important locations. Chunk Animator will change how chunks load up, making them more smooth, although there's five different animation modes to choose from. It just looks a lot better than what's in the vanilla game in my opinion. If you're playing with fabric, then you can use smooth chunks instead, which offers a similar feature. Easier Villager Trading makes trading a bit quicker overall. When you click a trade, it will execute once. If you hold Shift and click, then the trade will execute as many times as possible instead either until you've run out of materials or the villager locks the trade. If you hold control instead, then the trade will simply be prepared. That's the end of this list. On Thursday, I'll have another list of the latest mods coming up and more future videos coming soon. So make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already.